kind of uh, kind of strikes you like you know if somebody has to come out and rescue you you're kind of going well you know not asking people to do something you wouldn't do so that also got me interested in it as well my name is Fergus um, volunteer uh, helms and lifeboat crew here in the station I'm presently gone back to university to do um, a master's in social work. Being down the harbour obviously you'd, you'd see the lifeboat going out every weekend and whatever days we're training so kind of went oh yeah I'd like to look at that. 12, 13 years later I think yeah give or take still here and still enjoying it yeah yeah. We uh, we got a call out to uh, initially to a broken down jet ski by the time we had were suited and, and ready to launch that had upgraded to was uh, an injured casualty and when we came on scene then Peter uh, who's the helm um, asked me to hop into the water to assess the casualties. Okay. Alex. So, hey Alex how are you? Yeah. So where do you feel the pain Alex? I'm back on my leg and my neck. You're back in your lane. Okay can you just wiggle your toes for me? Yeah. A quick initial assessment I used scaling questions to have a rough indication of what kind of pain Alex was in. Can you wiggle these toes? Can you feel the me tiddling you there? Yeah. Okay, and how about that one? Oh. You can't feel that one? No. Okay. But she couldn't feel anything on her right foot at all. So that immediately indicated to us that there was some sort of nerve damage, possibly spinal damage. No sense of pain or reaction in the right foot? No pain. We had then, I used Tom and myself basically to stabilise uh, Alex as best we could really. At that stage then we kind of uh, radioed in for helicopter assistance. Uh, when we realised it was more than likely was a spinal injury, we, I felt fairly anxious. Um, you're dealing with you know, a, a young child, you don't know what kind of what kind of implications these injuries are going to have and you're very aware like every additional movement of this casualty is going to have an impact on this, possibly this, the futures of this child's health. Uh, without doubt the training kicks in you know we train regularly with a mobile training unit they come around we do blocks of casualty care training which would be a very advanced version of first aid essentially. You know, we do get like letters of thank you or cards and of thank you and whatnot. Oh, it makes you, you know, makes you feel, you know, it's worthwhile doing what you're doing, really. You know, the same as any job, really. You know, just, if it was a, a completely thankless job, I mean, you'd be questioning why you'd be doing it. But no, I mean, I would say 99.9% .9 of the public would be very grateful for their, your assistance. You know, yeah.